sports coverage of the National Football League brings us down south to Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the west side of downtown Atlanta. Here's Harrison Butker out there to get this thing started. And off we go here in Atlanta. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Now the second-year man out of Texas, B. John Robinson. And that play gets nothing. So no gain on the game's first snap. This defense wanted to come out early in this game and take the fight to the offense. And boy, did they ever set the tone on the very first play, keeping that carry to no gain. Cousins now on second down. He'll get this to the former Bear, Darnell Mooney. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. It's a gain of 19 in the air. It's good for a Falcon first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. That's complete to McLeod. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and nine. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He's got his man, it's Mooney. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And... As he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. What a pickup, a gain of 18. And it sets up first and goal. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. So we've played one quarter here on a Monday night. Nothing, nothing is the score. Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. Line of scrimmage remains the four-yard line. It's second and goal. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. He's got this to Bijan Robinson. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. I think the days where cornerbacks are either unwilling or unable to be involved in the run game, I think those days are over, Mike. I think when you look around the landscape of today's NFL, yes, you have to cover, but you also have to be able to come up and tackle. Cousins out of the gun on third down. To the goal line and in. Drake London 
Touchdown, Atlanta. Young Way Koo now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Falcons will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. But dangerous Miko Hardman on the return. And they'll bring him down just shy of the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and ten. Off the RPO, they'll get it to Brown. And they'll get about four here as he is taken down. Here's a second and six. To throw is Mahomes. And it's complete. To the sideline, nice job getting both feet down in bounds. This is why the timing of these routes is so critical. If that ball is thrown a little bit later, he's unable to keep his feet in bounds, but instead the quarterback is on time and accurate, and the receiver does a nice job not only securing the catch, but ensuring that both feet remain in bounds. Got a man, it's Kelsey, complete. And he's going to pick up the first down. He knew where that marker was and made sure he got beyond it. Well, nothing real fancy here, Mike. Not a huge pickup, but any time on third down, you got to know where the sticks are, who's your most reliable player, and I think everybody in this booth knows exactly what position that is. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. There's this misconception out there, Mike, that in the NFL you have to run the same amount of run plays as you do pass plays. Everyone talks about being balanced. But as you're seeing in this drive, you can fall on one side of that coin a little bit more as long as you're able to remain effective and efficient. So far, their passing game has dominated here early, and that last pickup leads to a first down. They put Kelsey in motion. Right back to the air for Mahomes. That one incomplete. They can't hook up there. And that incompletion takes us to the two-minute warning. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in but now they find themselves in second and ten do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here or is the idea to just make and he cannot get away brought down and that sack will bring us to the two minute warning just another example of poor decision making i mean making a bad play even worse there's nothing there on second down just throw the ball into the stands and move on to third now you take that sack and it's going to take a miracle to stay on the field. Third and long for Mahomes. Looking middle, and he's got Brown. And they were hoping for a little more on that one. Brought down well short of the first. So it'll bring up fourth down. And the Chiefs will punt the ball away. D. Alford on the return for the Falcons. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes 
inside the 15-yard line. The Falcons offense going to take over here in the last minute of this first half. They'll begin with first down from their own 11. Now, Cousins. There's Kyle Pitts with the grab. And he's going to get this up to the 22-yard line. The Falcons offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They lead it here in the second quarter, 7-0, as they begin with a first and 10. Now, Cousins. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. Nice gain here. He's going to be marked down at the 35-yard line. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Here's Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. He's going to be hit after the catch, and the ball comes free. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Well, a big play there, and maybe a big break, too. The ball going out of bounds, so they keep possession and keep a little bit of this momentum going, Greg. We see this across the league so much now, Mike. Defenders are getting so good at ripping that ball out. Unfortunately for them, in this case, they got the ball out, but it ended up going out of bounds. Freak London was the intended receiver there. And it'll bring up second down. So I like the aggressiveness of the call, but as the rest of the game unfolds, Mike, there needs to be better overall execution. A little bit cleaner. The next thing you know, they're going to hit some of those big shots. Second down, Cousins. Throw over the middle, caught by London. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. Out is Young Way Koo to try the field goal. This will be a 41 yard attempt. Koo's kick is good and the Falcons will extend to a 10-0 lead and that's a really nice boost here before the break I mean you work the clock well you're able to steal some points the biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The Chiefs offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. And nothing doing from the offense just yet. Down 10-0 as they come up with first and 10. Mahomes. Open man downfield. It's Rice. So we're at halftime here in Atlanta, and the Falcons are in the lead. As we'll send you down to Orlando now, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. This will be returned from the six. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. The Chiefs offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. That's over the middle. Complete to Brown. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. 
About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. This duo, dynamite. 18 yards on that connection and another first. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Play clock has expired. They're not going to get this one off on top. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second in inches. Now Mahomes gives it to Pacheco. And he's going to pick it up and take it down inside the 35 for the first down. Once again, it's Pacheco. And this rough day on the ground continues. They're going to drop him behind the line again. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales into your favor. Now whistles, play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. On play action, it's Mahomes. He connects with Gray on that one. And he'll get about six before he's taken down. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. And you can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. Here's a third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. That's deep for the back of the end zone. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we could talk about the missed throw, but I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. On fourth down, Super Bowl jet, Harrison Butker now for the Chiefs. This one from 49. Butker's kick is good. And the Chiefs are on the board. It's now 10-3. to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. After the made field goal, Butker back on the field to send this one away. Ray Ray McLeod on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Falcons offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half. 
They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Play action now. It's Cousins. That's into the hands of Werner, the tight end. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. Second and seven. So, points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. Back with more Monday Night Football after this. Now a second down throw for Cousins. That one taken in by London. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play, and it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Give them 17 more, and they are on a roll. Another first down. Off the play fake. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. And the defense has it. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Motion man is Rice. On first down, it's Mahomes. That's to the rookie first-round pick, Xavier Worthy. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch-and-catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Mahomes now to throw on second down. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Nothing a quarterback loves more, Mike, than being able to pick up a first down without being forced to push the ball downfield and force it past the line to gain. He settles for the underneath check down. He's confident that his receiver is going to pick up the rest after the catch. Here's Patrick. He'll throw it on. The pressure gets there, and down he goes. A sack. He'll drop to throw. He'll tuck it and take off. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. That's complete to Moore on the right side. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. Inside the 10, it is caught. Now the Chiefs could call the first of their timeouts. 
As they'll get it with just a shade under a minute left in this one. Here is first and goal. Motion man is Rice. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. And it's a touchdown! They have gotten to within one, and a two-point conversion can give them the lead here in the final minute. So they're not level yet. A critical extra point attempt to follow. The extra point is good a big one as we are tied late in this football game we are in the final minute of what is now a tie game as we are set for the kickoff Avery Williams on the return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin then. Here comes the Atlanta offense now. They get set to take over once more. They'll see if they can go about breaking our tie. We're all even at 10 as this drive begins first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. To the right, that's Pitts. That one good for a dozen, and a very quick first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Oh, he can't get rid of it, and he's taken down. Now a timeout, Atlanta. That's their first, and they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in this one. Now on second and long. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Open man, he's got it. It's London. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. Final minute, one timeout remaining. And it's first and ten. Throwing his cousins. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. Cousins now on second down. That's complete to McLeod. 11 yards on the pass there. First down, Atlanta. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. Here's Robinson. Finding room to the 20. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. 25 yards, the pick up there. First down, Atlanta. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what, you can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. 
A modest gain. Maybe two yards. It's second down. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. Fisk taken in at the eight-yard line. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. They put Kelsey in motion. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Mahomes now on second down. Now he takes off. And they will finally run him down up near midfield. First and ten for Mahomes. To the left side, into the hands of Moore. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. A huge play there in overtime. 33 yards. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone, and this is where you have to finish drives. Work in the right side, taken in by Rice. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle's made here at the three-yard line. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. Here's Pacheco. And this one's blown up. It's back at the five-yard line now. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. On second down, Mahomes. That is caught. And he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. Don't forget about the extra point here. This, an important one. The kick is good. So an ideal start to this overtime. And now it's up to the defense to preserve a seven-point lead. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Falcons offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now a first throw here in overtime. To the left side in the hands of London.
They'll come to the line now on second and two. Here's Cousins. He's got his man. It's Mooney. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And it's downfield to the tight end pitch. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. A huge play there in overtime. 32 yards. First and 10. To throw is Cousins. That one is caught by Mooney. About 19 yards on that one. And they're in business. It's first and goal. This is just like recess, just playing one-on-one -on -one football and saying, all right, I'm throwing you the ball. You got to go get open. This is a great job by the receiver selling it at the top of his route. The defender thought he was defending a deep ball. He sticks his foot in the ground and comes back. Well-timed, well-executed. That is caught. He got it. And that's a game winner here in overtime. What a terrific play at the back of the end zone. Greg, that is so hard to do, but something you did during your career. How do the guys pull that off? Yeah, the key here, Mike, is the concentration to not only see the ball, but then you have to feel the ground. You have to know exactly where you are in the back line of the end zone. And tell you what, this is about as good as it gets. Come down with the ball, two feet in bounds, touchdown. back to level after the touchdown and time for the kickoff from the six here comes a return and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line so here comes the KC offense set to take over once more they'll do so with first and ten Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. Open man downfield. It's Rice. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. The Chiefs offense getting set to get back to work. They'll start with the football already in the red zone. Big opportunity here on first and 10. Big moment for a guy who's made some big kicks in his career, Harrison Butker. This one to win it in overtime. So now, a big spot coming here. This one, he's got to have. This kick is good. He got it. So it's a win for the visiting Chiefs. This was a close-fought game. They were able to get themselves into field goal range here at OT. The final kick sailed through the uprights to finally close out this victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say good night from Atlanta.